Hello everybody and welcome back to The Second Shelf. It's the beginning of a new month already, again, February. And as always, if you're following my channel uh, for any length of time, you know that. The beginning of each month I present books to be released in that month. I select four or five books that I find interesting and I hope you find them interesting as well. So TBR for this, the purpose of this video means to be released. And this month I am a bit science fiction and debut heavy because those are the things that I plan on reading more um, in the course of this year. And we start off with a debut, a debut of short story collection, a uh, sto short story collection, and that's Zoe Gilbert Folk. The book will be published on the 8th of February, so next week. Um, Zoe Gilbert is a young British writer. She lives in London and she's written short stories that have been published in magazines before. And one of the stories in the book, uh, Fish Skin, Hair Skin, uh, won the Costa Short Story Award a couple of years back. The short stories are all set in uh, one village uh, on a remote island. The village is called Neverness. And um, from what I understood, they are interconnected in a way, um, uh, obviously because they're all set in the same uh, place, but also uh, character-wise they are interconnected. It's a magical uh, world um so not uh, the, the, the world we know. Obviously, I'm not explaining that very well. I should have had more coffee, I guess. Um, anyway, so it's a, it's a book of magical stories uh, with, a, with a twist very often, as, as I understood. And I have to say, I was uh, drawn to the book, shallow as I am, because I think the cover is really beautiful. The artwork on the cover is really beautiful. But also, like I said in the introduction, that I wanted to read uh, more short stories and I'm interested in, in new authors, debut authors. So that's what got me interested. And I requested the book from NetGalley, who kindly provided me with a copy. Um, and the magical setting is not something that I normally read. Uh, and that's another reason that I thought, well, you know, expand your horizon, new year. Um, so the first pick for this month's TBR, a short story collection set in a magical world called Neverness. We stay with uh, literary fiction and with debuts. And the next uh, book I thought sounded interesting is Lisa Halliday's Asymmetry, which will be published also next week on the 6th of February. Uh, Lisa Holiday is um, a young American author who lives in Italy, in Milan, and she works there as a translator and editor. Um, Asymmetry is also consistent of three stories, or as the, the blurb says, two stories and a coda, two novellas and a coda, which are also interlinked. The first story is about Alice, um, a, a young woman who works at, at a publishing firm, and her relationship with an older, uh, renowned writer. And the next story is about a young um, a Kurdish man who is detained in Heathrow um, um, over a weekend. Um, and I don't know how the stories uh, connect and how the coda, uh, the, the third part connects, but uh, it sounded uh, like an interesting concept, first of all, uh, to have, like in, in the book that I presented uh, uh, before, uh, folk, that stories interconnect. I, I like that if it's done well. I, I really like that. Um, not if it's, you know, a novel cut in pieces because the writer didn't know how to make one story, but, but sometimes these things work very well and asymmetry is presented as a novel. So I expect much more than in, in the first book I talked about that the stories really connect to one whole. Um, and as I said before, I'm interested in discovering new voices, um, the themes of um, you know the relationship of a young woman with an older writer and especially the second one the young economist a Kurdish Iraqi economist who is detained in in Heathrow that sounded really intriguing and I think it, it drew me into the into the book I, I mean it didn't 
draw me into the book because I hadn't read, haven't read it yet, but it drew me into considering the book for my um, February TBR because I'm really curious how these two short novellas uh, connect with each other. So another debut, um, another literary fiction novel consisting of various story, Lisa Holiday, Asymmetry. And then we move on to science fiction, because as you know, I love science fiction and I'm planning on reading a lot more sci-fi this year than I did last year. And it's another debut, and that is Sue Burke's Semiosis. The book will be published um, also next week, 6th of February, so you don't have to wait long for all these books I discuss. Uh, Sue Burke was born in uh, Milwaukee, where she uh, grew up also. Um, and she lives now in Chicago. She has been working as an editor and translator uh, from Spanish to English for 40 years, also a journalist, and she published, published various stories and essays, but this is her first novel. Uh, Semiosis is set in the future, um, the 22nd century, and it's about uh, a first encounter uh, with aliens, quote unquote, uh, but not set on Earth. So uh, the story is set on Pax, which is a star, um, a, a planet sort of Earth like, but uh, not quite. And we follow the story of the first colonists. So colonists from Earth who come to Pax uh, to form um, a, a society there. Uh, the book is also separated into various stories. That seems to be <laughs> the theme this month. Um, but it is one story, but uh, divided into various parts by generation. So we follow uh, five uh, or seven, can't remember now quite, sorry about that, uh, generations on Pax, starting with the first colonists, then their children, and so on and so on. Um, uh, what I understood is that the, the first it's a first encounter with, with the twist because the aliens are more plant-like than animal or human-like. Um, I love reading sci-fi. It's a debut. So, and the story, the premise sounded interesting, although I think this generation jump has its pitfalls. So I'm curious to see how Sue Burke does it uh, to keep the reader engaged, even though um, the characters, you only meet the characters for quite a short period and then you know, you they are dead and you jump to the next generation. But uh, like I said, the premise sounded interesting. Um, so I, I thought this would be a good pick for the February TBR. And the last pick for this month's TBR is also sci-fi and another short story collection, and that is Joe Walton Starlings, which will come out mid-February on the 13th. Um, I have to admit that I picked this book solely on the basis of the author, Jo Walton. If you read sci-fi, you will know her name, you will be familiar with her work. She's an English uh, writer born in Wales and she has written multiple books um, and um, series, sci-fi series, and I especially loved her Tessaly series, a trilogy. Um, the Just City was the first, and then Philosopher Kings and Necessity, the, the second and the third book. I, I loved her writing style, I loved her, her ideas, and when I heard that a short story collection uh, would come out written by her, um, I, I just had to pick it because, what can I say, I love her. So these were my picks for the February TBR. As I said, debut short story and sci-fi heavy. Uh, thank you very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed uh, the video. Let me know whether any of the books that I mentioned interest you um, or let me know any other new releases in February that you are excited about. Uh, so talk to me in, in the comments and I will see you all in my next video. Bye-bye.